I've been meaning to switch over to Clip Studio Paint because I always hear such good things about it. I'm still a total newbie at the program and there's a lot that I still have to learn. But Clip Studio Paint reached out and offered me a chance to visit the office and take part in a demonstration. Could you recommend me, I guess, the Mo Beginner Friendly tool? He said that there were a variety of preset brushes I could use to decorate the background, but that I could also search for my own brush presets online by opening Clip Studio Assets. Can I oh, that's so cool. Next, he showed me the new auto shading feature that recently came with Clip Studio 2.0, which is a function that creates automatic shadows. Another useful feature is the use of 3D models for posing. You simply drag the model onto the canvas, and you can even move the camera angle around to view the model from different angles. With Clip Studio's Liquify tool, you can distort both the line art and the color layers at the same time without having to merge them beforehand. The last thing I asked Naoki-san about was how to use tools for manga drawings, since that was one of the main things that Clip Studio specialized in, and the thing that really drew me to the program to begin with. Now that I had some new tips and tricks under my belt, I decided to try utilizing them at home. Clip Studio is a super extensive software with a huge library of resources and drawing materials, so I definitely recommend trying it out if you're looking for versatility and some useful time savers. Clip Studio Paint is also available on multiple devices, which will come really handy for me. Like I said, still a huge newbie at this program, but I'm excited to expand my knowledge and all the different artistic tools I have at my disposal. Bye.